So doubt, that's the big evil thing. Doubt, it gets into your mindset and it really sabotages your dreams even before you begin to make them your reality. So here to show us how having the right mindset and get rid of that sabotage that's there and help you achieve your goals is celebrity hypnotist Ricky Kalman. Welcome back to the show. Hi, welcome back. Good to see you all. Thank you so much. For those everybody. who don't know, you were here in December. You had an overwhelming response from people because you talked about how self-hypnosis or hypnosis can help ourselves, how we can improve upon that. What resonated? What, what are some of the topics that people were? It's great to see you to. both. And thank Good you so you. much for having sure. me back. And we had so much fun last time with the entertainment side. But I was overwhelmed with the emails on the self-help side of things. Number one, healthier eating, losing weight, keeping it off, not being on a diet, but on a healthier lifestyle. So many people saw this as not what it really maybe was portrayed, mm -hmm. but simple states of relaxation to clear our mind, to help us remove the doubt. And that was probably the, I mean, there was, there was a lot of emails, but that was the number one thing. Yeah. And I think the question too was, how do you achieve this at home? Because yeah. it's one thing to do it here on the stage and all along you could do it, but how do we bring it home and make it stick? You know, I guess the biggest secret is, is that I tell everybody all the time is that I'm not the hypnotist. We are the individual. The most powerful hypnotist in the world is ourselves. And so you get to choose what you say to yourself every single so day. So you're not doing anything to them. I'm really not. You're not. I'm showing them how to relax. So if you're at home, how much time do you take to relax? How much time do you actually reinforce the positive suggestions? How much time do you repel the negativity that stops us from doing the things I we want to do. I do it all the time, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, right I, I think that's hard to believe. That's, we had a wonderful conversation, and it's things like that, that self-talk, which sets up the sabotage. I'm not yeah. good enough. I, it doesn't work, I've tried it, it doesn't yeah. work. Those are all Absolutely. things that lead to a dead end Help and frustration. Help those are the powerful <laughs> suggestions, because think about it. Optimistic people see the things that aren't there, believe the things that, are, that aren't there, and then make it happen. And literally, when you say those type of things to yourself, and I know that sounds so simple, yeah. but it really is, you literally start to change and frame your reality. That, to me, is what really hypnosis is. It's, it's not about uh, you literally putting somebody in a state, it's putting yourself in that state. Do you guys want to see a little bit of what his magic is and what he does? Sure. And you, the the biggest crowd right here. I know. Well, just to let uh, uh, not only our, our viewers know, is that you spent some time listening to me earlier. Christina and I, mm -hmm. uh, we, we spent some time. I, I, we talked about using hypnosis. We talked about the relaxation side. You experienced it very quickly. We, we talked about that time. And we actually had one of your producers, Buck, who is in the audience watching. And I'm going to kind of put you on the spot here. Um, did they mic you? And yeah. uh, you're going, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's going on? Uh, can, you, can you join us for this? Sure. All right, so I'm going to move you a little bit. Christina, actually, I'm going to have you sit on that chair. Mark, will you help me even that out? Sure, sure. Per per perfect. Ahead. Yep. And Christina, you need that one? Do you, you want me to there? take this away? That's, we're, we're off with that one. Okay, let me Buck, get you're going to be way. right there. All right. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So the cool thing is... <clears throat> wow, this if, makes me sit up really straight. <laughs> it's comfy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What yeah. if I can show you, even in front of all these people with all these distractions, how to relax so quickly, so fast, because you've already conditioned yourself. I mean, think about the habits we have. Mm -hmm. uh, can I do some fun first? Sure. Okay. With can, me too? Yeah, absolutely. Can I have just a cape in case I have too much fun and I relax? I'm wearing a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, seriously. Like, seriously? Okay, okay, okay. no, seriously. I got it. You know, Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Here you know we what? Go. I'll tell you what. Come on. on. Bring that, let's bring that in. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. you relax and have fun. Because we know how important it is for her to like, relax. Oh, thank in you. In case that falls Seriously. off of you. I don't want that oh. to you know, fall off thank of you. you. Upstage. This is improv TV. This is great. I might just relax too much and not. It won't, it's okay. Bad. All right. Okay. 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 Smart, That's fine. Smart. I'm That's sorry. no, I'm glad that high chair you were thinking. She was thinking. I, I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. You're so, so kind. to Mark, right. again, I, I always want people to know it's not a quick snap of the fingers. I can't walk up to anybody and put them under without them knowing. Both of them have spent some time with me. We preconditioned. Mm -hmm. I've shown them simple things to relax. I've given them post hypnotic suggestions to get into the state. So, I'm going to do that right now. So, Christina, if you will, just shake my hand. What I'd like you to do is focus on my voice. I'm going to count backwards from three to one and just relax <laughs> in that chair. And three, two, one. Relax way back under. Heavier and heavier. Let every muscle relax. Stay glued to your chair, but you're more relaxed, more focused. Even though you're sitting as though you're on a pillar, you are extremely relaxed, like a magnet pulling yourself into relaxation. No distractions, no cares, no worries, nothing at all. In fact, you just get more comfortable. As you hear my voice, you actually just get deeper, more focused. You find yourself relaxing already, don't you? Buck, will you shake my hand for a brief moment? And three, two, relax way down, deeper and deeper, heavier and heavier. Stay glued to your seat. You are on a pillar, you're on a pedestal, but you are relaxed, loose and limp, excellent. 
Now, again, they're relaxed and comfortable, but they're not unconscious. They're not asleep. They're really focused. I want to show you simply a couple simple things. For we, we shared some things. We talked about guilty pleasures. We talked about uh, things that they do that, that they'd like to change. Christina was all about eating peanut butter cups. She, she likes them, but she didn't want to you know, get rid of them totally out of her life, which is not good. You deprive yourself. Buck was sharing with me that he... You know, he really likes colas, sodas, uh, you know, uh, but maybe he's drinking way too much. I'm going to show you very quickly how fun suggestions can help change our reality and make us more aware of the things that we do. Christina, when your eyes are open, I'm going to give you your guilty pleasure, peanut butter cups. The first couple bites are absolutely fine, no big deal. The second or third bite, let's go the third bite, tastes like literally eating sand. You'll actually have to spit it out. Actually, that was a good call. <laughs> um, a really good call on our part. To, anyway, so you'll actually have to spit it out. Buck, you are going to be so thirsty. Every time I talk to Christina, you are interrupting me. You need a cola, drink, something, a pop. You need it. You will interrupt me. You are loud. You are outgoing. You will interrupt me until you, I get you a drink. The drink is the best drink in the world to you. You love them, but you cannot find your mouth. You will pour, the, pour it in the wrong place. Everywhere it goes, it is never going to hit your mouth. One, two, slowly sit up all the way up in your chair, and three, eyes open. Welcome back. How you guys doing? Yeah. Good. Awesome. Awesome. So, guys, uh, I thank you so much. Uh, you guys relaxed here today, and yes. uh, I thank you so much. I know we spent a little bit really of time relaxing. Okay, I'll be right with you. Uh, Christina, you talked about you like <laughs> peanut butter cups. I do. Can yeah, I, I just, do I'll be right sorry. with you. I'm uh, so sorry. Uh, can I just show you something very quickly? Do we have a peanut butter cup or something like that? Uh, like a, can I get something to drink? Sure, I got, I'll, I'll be right I'm with seriously, you. Seriously, like I need just, something to drink. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, to change things, can but I, I want to show you something very Can, I, can you get me a drink? I know. Just give me a minute. Go ahead and just try if you don't mind if you don't mind just try that it tastes fine mm. it, i mean honestly yeah. do you like those it's delicious. It's, they're, they're great yes. dude dude seriously i need a drink it's ricky I'm, but that's ricky, okay I that's all right i like you. really really need okay. one no no How's i need a drink now? i really do that's I, a second bite can i get a drink i'll be right with you third wait, wait, wait. bite I, I'm, I'm so sorry I, 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 I am so thirsty right now please it's like you're not even listening to me i need something to drink try the, oh how's that taste yeah. i'm like How's that day? <laughs> Wait a second, those are hers. Those are hers. Oh, um, it's gonna make it worse, isn't it? Yes. Um, okay, can I get a cola, a drink, something? Can I? I need. Just, can we just something? All right, here. All right, thank you. So, so there we go. Sorry. Fine. Um, so. Uh, <laughs> Would you still eat those if they tasted like that, Christina? Would you? Can I? Can I get another one? Just give me another one. Uh, here you go, Buck. Uh, listen, would you eat those anymore if no. you continually? Isn't that? Cool? No, it tastes kind of gritty. It tastes gritty. gritty. You would never eat that again. But you satisfied the craving. No. Marks that simple things that change perspective. I know that's a little overwhelming at times, but is is that okay? You all right? It's I'm so thirsty. Well, I'll tell you what. When I snap, your wide awake suggestion's gone. You have no idea what just happened. <laughs> Did I pee myself? <laughs> Are you thirsty? No. I'm all right. You feel okay? Yeah. Are you still thirsty? No, really. You, don't want to know you know, I, whenever, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah. It's it not very good, is it? Yeah. Not very good. The power of the mind, I think it's brilliant, and the lessons that can be learned from it, come back. We come I would back love and spend to. time with us, Ricky. Thank you so very much. I have to say, for more information on uh, motivational programs, whether it's losing weight or getting past all those vices in your life that you want to get better at, do you want to try one more? You don't like those. RickyKalman.com.